scrunch bum and I'll just give them to you guys for free. It felt like my head was about to like explode. Good morning guys, happy Monday. Man, it felt weird not vlogging last week, like really weird. Cause it's just so second nature to me. I felt like <laughs> something was missing. Like when I'd do something ooh, and something like not exciting happened, but like, I don't know, like we got our table, we finally framed the puzzle, just stuff like that. Like usually I'd be like, oh, I need to get my vlog camera and vlog it. But I didn't and it was weird, but it was nice. It was actually nice not to be vlogging, you know, most of the day. To be honest, I actually don't really vlog that many hours in a day. Like I only really vlog, I guess, like the exciting things. It was so freaking weird not vlogging last week. To be honest, I actually did miss it. But it was nice to have a weekend away. We went to Crown. Um, obviously, I finished the vlog before then. That was, like, amazing. I, yeah, that was just so good not thinking about having to vlog everything. So I don't even really do that many stories when I was there as well, which was nice. But, yeah, we stayed there over Valentine's Day. And then where do I even start? I feel like I need to do, like, a sit-down part of the video and, like, catch up with, like, what has happened this past week. Not a lot has happened, but like stuff has happened, obviously. Um, I'm just about to print off a couple of labels to uh, pack because the postie should be here in 20 minutes and I have 12 parcels to pack. So I'm gonna go quickly do that. Thought I'd give you guys a skin update. Oh my gosh, it's looking so much better, so much less textured. It's just the redness that's kind of like left behind. I also need to share my experience with, let me see if I can. Oh, that might be good. Oh, that's good. Um, my experience with Epiduo, which is what my doctor prescribed me. I already shared it on my stories, but for those that don't have Instagram, one second. It's a really strong cream. I personally, had a bad experience with it because I wasn't told how to correctly use it. So he basically said just to apply a layer like you would your moisturizer after cleansing. He didn't tell me to moisturize, even though I didn't really ask a question. I didn't really ask. He just said like apply a layer, you know, at night only. And I was like, okay. And then when I went to go get the script from, one sec. Um, from the pharmacist, is that what it's called? Yeah. Why did that sound wrong? Um, she also said the same thing. She just said just to apply a layer um, at night after cleansing. I was like, okay, well, that's what I'm going to do. So I wouldn't say I applied like a really thick layer. It was relatively thin, like just medium. Like I did like maybe like two or three pumps. Like the pumps aren't that big. And I put it all over my face and I was like, okay, that's all good. Like, cool. Um, I was thinking about moisturizing after because my face felt a bit dry. I don't think I ended up doing that though. Anyways, about half an hour later, my face started to sting and I was like, oh, maybe it's just like the ingredients in the cream. Like I knew it was a strong cream. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, I might just have to like bear with it for a bit. No, nah, it got like to a point where I was like, I can't have this on my skin anymore. And I had to like wash it off because it felt like my head was about to like explode. Like it was so burny and stingy and it was like the weirdest freaking feeling. Was that the morning after or the night of? I think it was the night of and I felt like I couldn't get to sleep because my face was still stingy. Even after I washed it off, my face still felt stingy. Anyways, the morning after I um, just did my regular morning routine, cleansed my face and like, oh my God, when I moisturized and even cleanse, like it still felt so burny. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't even have anything on. I'm pretty sure that day I had to film something. So I had to wear makeup and oh my God, putting makeup on, on my skin was like, the it was like so bad. So yeah, I, it was so painful. I was like, I don't even, I can't even like put makeup on. Like that's how bad my skin was. And so then I gave it a break. Um, I didn't use it the night. Actually, no, I did use it the night after again. 
So I used it again the night after, but I only used a little bit this time, all over my face again, and it's still, it was still burning. And I was like, okay, maybe this cream's not for me. I looked it up and it, it's apparently normal for your face to feel like that from Google. And I was like, okay, well maybe this, yeah, this cream isn't for me. Like I can't deal with it basically. And then um, I stopped using it over when we were in Crown because I only just got prescribed with it before we left. And um, I stopped using it in Crown just because when I go to Erin Aesthetics, they recommend not for me to use any actors for a couple days before. So I stopped using it and my skin was fine. Oh, I need to wash my tan off and scrub it. Um, yeah, so I stopped using it for about two days. Yeah. Well, no, three days because we are there three days. And oh my god, the skin peel that they did fucked me up. It was so stink, like it stung so bad. It doesn't usually like I like I don't usually like think that's painful. The, the peel when she goes over with like the I don't know the pads that she uses. Yeah, I usually don't like flinch, and I was like, holy shit, give me a fan. Like I actually can't deal. It was so stingy. So yeah, then I felt like I was scarred from the cream, but I've just heard so many great things about it. And so I decided to use it as like a spot treatment. So what I've been doing now the past like four days is I've been moisturizing or well, I'll do my skincare. I'll just put pop on a moisturizer and then I'll use it as a spot treatment. So I'll wait until the moisturizer like sinks in maybe like 20 minutes or something or just before I go to bed, I just put it on this area, like very little, like literally like pea size amount. And then I'll wait for that to dry. Actually, no, I didn't put moisturizer on last night over the top. I mean, you could, but um, yeah, I just put moisturizer on before. I need to really mute my phone. Um, uh, yeah, before I put the cream on and it seems to be really working for me, which I'm so happy about. Anyways, I um, just wasted 10 minutes explaining that when I could have been doing this, but yeah. Um, last week, yeah, like I said, was fucking weird. Oh, that just went everywhere. Yeah, it was really weird not vlogging, but I also felt like I really needed it. But it's good to be back. It's just a shame that you guys have to wait another week, basically, <laughs> um, until you can watch this vlog. But that's just how it works. All right, I'm going to go and quickly pack these orders. Yeah, I don't have uh, PT until 2 p.m. today, so I'm going to relax, clean the house a bit organize the house a bit i've got some content that i need to film today um so yeah i will chat to you guys later otherwise i'm gonna get distracted and stuff up these orders if i'm talking to myself <laughs> okay i'll chat to you guys later guys so i just got to the gym oh by the way i got these new glasses the other week from is it paired yeah paired eyewear they're quite cool um oh my god my face oh by the way yeah i use those drunk elephant um drops it's not really drops it's kind of like a thick serum and i mix it in with my moisturizer and oh my gosh i actually love it it does make your face um look really dewy so if you're like i'm quite oily like i kind of look a little bit oily but it just gives like a really nice bronzy color to your face because i didn't tan my face last night i really like it actually did i tan my face no i 
actually no I did use one drop of the um, Isle of Paradise drops and I haven't done that in ages so my face wasn't like super dark but yeah I actually really like it but um, yeah I just pulled up to the gym I just had to film some stories that I have to get approved before they go live um, it's a bit frustrating because I prefer to have like to do stories in real time most brands um, don't require approval but then there's obviously some big brands that it, like everything you basically say has to be approved from their like head of marketing or whatever so I just did that in my car I just basically spoke about good life like I normally would um, because I'm doing a campaign with them which is kind of cool I filmed a reel last week um, so yeah that'll be up probably this week on my Instagram so yeah I just had to film like stories to go with it I've just sent that to them for approval um, but yeah I'm just about to go and do some steps actually I really want to hit 10k steps um, a day I have been hitting that subconsciously especially oh my god yesterday we went um, furniture shopping for chairs we didn't have much luck like we Every single chair that we liked was charcoal and I think I want black chairs. White chairs I feel like would get dirty and then I feel like if I got white chairs it would be too much white and especially because I want a white cream couch. did find one that we love because I want to get rid of our current couch because I wanted like a cream beige. I was, we were thinking of getting a black couch but like there were no real nice ones in like black black and I just think white or cream looks a bit nicer. Anyway, so we found a couch that we absolutely love, but it's like $5,000. <laughs> it's so expensive. And all like the cheaper ones that are around like one and a half, two were just like not, not the vibe that I was liking. I'm loving the slouchy look, but not too slouched. So there's this one at Freedom. Oh my God. It's called the, is it Noosa couch? And it's like a little L and oh my God, it's like the backing of the couch is like just pillows it just looks so nice so yeah we'll still be on the hunt because I feel like that's a lot of money for a couch <laughs> but if we can't find anything then we might have to get it because it's so cute um so yeah still on the hunt Sorry, for it I couldn't hear what you said just get the fuck out of me um so yeah still on the hunt for a couch but it's just chairs like there's so many options online like I went on Temple and Webster but like I want to sit in it and I want to make sure it's like comfy and like stable so the last thing I want is to order chairs online that are like I don't know uh, what I expected so yeah we're trying to find like is a f what would you get fabric or leather I don't know if leather really suits the vibe of the house I feel like the fabric would look but then like the leather chairs that we saw kind of look nice but I don't know I just don't know and I don't really like the chairs that like were put with the Nick Scarly table like they're very like I kind of like the chairs that like wrap around your back those kinds of chairs rather than like the big back chairs if you get what I mean I don't know if we should get like a cushion like the cushion look chairs I don't know if anyone has any chair recommendations that would go with a marble table please let me know dm me comment down below because that is what we need to find next with the stools so obviously i diy'd them i don't know why i'm giving you a house update when i'm literally meant to be doing steps um yeah so we decided we're going to keep the stools and just paint the wood black so we'll go to bunnings and get whatever we need peter will know all that and just paint them black because i like the stools i like the round stools they go with our coffee table um, in saying that though, there is a coffee table that matches the dining table from Nick Scarly. It's square though. Um, and like obviously the marble with our coffee table is different to the marble on our dining table. It, it's kind of the same but like because I can tell. Um, so I'm not sure about that yet. We'll keep our marble coffee table. I'm pretty sure we got that one from Ama. It was really cheap. It was like 200 bucks or 150 or something. It was really cheap. Um, so yeah, not sure if we'll swap the coffee table yet. Probably not yet. But um, yeah, so with the stools, we're just going to paint them black rather than just like getting whole new stools because that's a bit of a waste. And yeah, the stools that we got were from Kmart, by the way, when we just moved in because we just needed them ASAP because we didn't have a table. One year later, got a table. Don't have chairs. I wonder how long that's going to take us to find chairs. Surely not. Um, what else? Oh, it's overheating. 
I just got a sign on the camera. Um, we're also planning a trip to Esperance. Not ne wait, yes, no, yes, next week possibly next Monday. So that'll be fun to vlog. We're gonna go with Peter's family. I've always wanted to go to Esperance. Like the beaches down south look fucking amazing. I've only really seen a few, so I'm really keen to do that um we just need to like figure out what day we can leave because i have a massive shipment of packaging coming um hopefully this week but it could be next week so we need to figure out like what happens if we're not home like do we have to pay for them to store it because there's like 10 boxes of it anyways i'm rambling um but yeah i need to go into the gym do some steps do my pt session i've got to go drop some parcels off at the po box also need to pick up some parcels and yeah, that's it. I think my camera's gonna die because it's overheating. So I need to go. Just got back from the gym. Then I went to the shops and picked up all of these parcels. I also um, ate these in the car. For some reason this tastes like it's not the, oh, that didn't go everywhere. Um, it's not the best tasting uh, iced coffee. It kind of tastes like dirt, but I kind of like it. It's so freaking weird. Like I've had so many DMs saying, how the fuck do you like this coffee? It like literally tastes like dirt, but I don't know, I like it. I had it, I don't know why I like it actually. It is nice, but a lot of people don't like it. Anyways, love this. I'll show you guys that when I get inside, but yeah, I'll unbox a few of these PO box mails. I'm excited for this one some new activewear, a new activewear brand. Well, not new, but like I've never tried it and I've always wanted to, so I'll show you guys that. And yeah, don't even know why I'm filming the boot. Also, I didn't even show you the table. Um, Hold on, let me just pull this up because I moved the plant inside. I felt like it was getting a bit too much sunlight outside, even though it was in like a quite shady area outside. So I'm just like opening all the blinds. We keep them shut by the way. I get like random messages saying, why do we keep the blinds shut? Because our neighbors are kind of on a, not on a hill, but like basically if they went like this on their tippy toes, they would be able to see right in our house. So we just, I don't know, it's a bit weird. So we just keep them closed. I guess we've been keeping them open because I'm like liking natural sunlight, but like when we first moved in, we were like, I think we just saw the heads of people. So we just, yeah, we just keep them closed. And like, especially at night we have them closed because obviously you can see in the house when it's lit, you know? So yeah, during the day we keep them open, but then at night we close them because that's just weird, you know? Anyways, um, yeah, so I put the plant inside. How cool, it's growing a new leaf and it actually looks really nice and healthy. I thought this wasn't normal. I didn't think that this is what a healthy plant looked like because it kind of looks a bit like, not half dead, but also not like photos of these plants that I've seen online. Anyway, so I moved it inside. I think it looks really cute here. Um, but yeah, this is a new leaf, which is exciting. I also was a little bit concerned about this, but I got heaps of DMs saying that's an aerial root and that's normal i might depot this like take this pot out um get some is it called sea soil um some more soil and fill this pot up you know also i've always wondered because i'm not really a plant person i actually need to like clean this because it's dusty so obviously because there's like holes at the bottom do you take your plant outside to water it because like obviously i don't want it to drain onto my tiles or does it drain? I'm, I don't know, like. Is this enclosed? This is probably the dumbest question. Okay, so there's a hole at the bottom of this one and I know there's a hole at the bottom of that one. So, yeah, that's my question. Do you just take it outside to water or do you just water it inside even though there's a hole at the bottom? Like, do, does the water go on the floor? I'm dumb, okay? Like when it comes to plants, I'm not, I'm not sure. So yeah, if anyone has any plant advice, let me know. But yeah, it's very nice. I actually wiped them down with some just water in a cloth. I'm pretty sure some people have used like coconut oil spray or something. But yeah, I gave them a wipe down last week because they were getting a bit dusty. But yeah, how freaking cute and how cool is that? Okay, I need to go and get the rest of my stuff in the car. 
I need a basket or something. So I've got way too many parcels. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, I'm gonna go and I'll show you guys what I got from the shops first, put it in the fridge, and then I'll show you guys our table. It's a nice box to rest this on. Okay, so, like I said, I had that in the car, obsessed. This as well. I wasn't going to because we literally bought these like two days ago and I've already finished the whole packet. They're literally so addicting. Broccolini, some bananas, which I'll put in the fruit basket. Another one of these. These were on sale, PSA, at Woolies, $7.50. They're usually $10. Should have grabbed more, but that's all right. Barramundi, so expensive, but so good. Literally $30 for four slices. Um, cherry tomatoes. I just got one of these for Peter. And then just some egg. We've got quite a bit of veggies and um, meat from HelloFresh. Might have a chicken wrap for lunch. Um, I'll show you guys the table, actually. Because I am obsessed. So this is the table that we got from Nick Scarly. I can't remember what the name was. Maybe Province? Anyways, I think there's only like three types of uh, tables there. So this one's the one with the wood. It's like wooden. Is it called wood grain? Um, we didn't really like it because of that. But I love the thickness of it. All the other tables were really thin. And I just didn't really like that look. So yeah, this is the table, Obsess. They're my Jaquimus books. That candle is really pretty. It's from Cleansing Co. These ones were from Maya. I'm not sure if they're gonna stay there, but yeah, we're gonna um, sand these. Is that what it's called? And paint them completely black, just because I like the, like the shape of the stools. Um, I really wanted to get another stool, but Peter's like, no, three stools looks way nicer than four. And I was like, yeah, but what if we have a couple over and we all want to sit down? So that's like awkward. We ended up getting three, so that would look really cute. And then the couch will be like cream slash beige. I think it would look really nice. I think we're going to keep the rug here. I don't know what to do with these paintings. I ended up putting the painting that I got. I might put some more lights on because it's not very bright in here. The painting that I got last week. I'll leave them listed down below there. But I'm not sure if that looks too like white on white. I'm not really sure. That was there though. So yeah, they've just been on the floor for ages. But I mean, that's kind of cute too, you know? You've seen all that. I don't know if I like them anymore. <laughs> I changed my mind, honestly, like I changed my undies. And oh my God, I never thought I would see the day. The puzzle is gone. So we ended up buying a, <laughs> funny story actually. We ended up buying a um, frame, a glass frame from Red Dot actually, if you don't know what Red Dot is. It's basically like the reject shop, Crazy Clark's, it's a cheap shop. And well, basically we needed to find a frame with the exact measurements of the puzzle. And I think it was like 50 by 67 centimeters or whatever. So I literally typed that in Google and that was the first thing that popped up. And luckily, like we literally have a red dot, like not far. So the next day I went and got the frame from red dot. And I didn't realize that it was glass. I thought it was acrylic or like not acrylic, but like fake glass. And you should have seen us trying to take it off the round table. It was so stressful. We were sweating. We ended up doing it. We had to like cut a piece of cardboard in the shape of the round table because like obviously think about it. Sliding a square puzzle off a round table isn't going to work. So yeah, we, we made it work anyways. And then we got to putting the cover on, not the cover, like the glass bit and it smashed. Luckily the puzzle's okay. It's just chilling there on our study table, but we just ended up getting another one. It was literally 20 bucks from and we're going to attempt to put it in again. We're just going to be really, really freaking careful. So that's cool. I think I'm going to hang it up here in the study. The study is just looking the same as what it was when we pretty much moved in. The only thing that we've pretty much done to it is put a rug 
and built that. All of that shit is like random stuff. Um, we're not really in this room though. Um, we do want to make it an office though. We like want to do it up. We really want to get like a, pretty sure I mentioned this like literally eight months ago. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. It's getting one of those cork board uh, world maps. So we can pin um, everywhere we've been around the world and stuff. I really like that idea. Um, and then we'll probably hang that up somewhere in there because I can't really see that being anywhere else in the house, like the puzzle. So yeah, that's a little update on the house. Um, yeah, we just need to decide on a couch. Oh, I've left the freezer open. Yeah, we're just gonna decide on a couch and some chairs, but oh yeah, we, well not me. What's happening here? Oh, it's jammed. Um, well, Peter and his family booked Desperance. So we're leaving on Monday next week and we're going for 10 days it literally takes is it eight to ten hours to get there so yeah we're driving because there's obviously so many beautiful things that you can see on the way and i'm so excited i've like i said i've always wanted to go and see that part of perth down south i haven't been that far yet i've only really been to bustleton margaret river dunsborough not medora mandra and they're all so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'll obviously be vlogging, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and put this stuff away and then I'll unbox what I got from the PO box. Actually, I will make lunch. I might just make a wrap with some chicken, actually. Have this for dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna have a chicken wrap, I think. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, I know I said I was going to make lunch, which I am, but I just was really excited to open this. So this is from the brand Crop Shop Boutique, and is my battery about to die? Please don't die. Anyways, oh my god, they've got the cutest stuff. Like, not just, like, they've obviously got active wear, but they've got, like, other clothes that can be worn casually. Oh my god, I've been wanting this so bad. I've got something really similar, but, like, the material... It actually is quite similar. It's like a slinky top, but obviously you could wear this like over the top of a sports bra or just casually, but how cute is this chocolate brown tank? I'm obsessed. I'm going to wear that tomorrow. Oh my God, these feel so nice. I don't know if I would wear these though. Like they're so short. Actually, they're not that much shorter. Well, I mean, they are. I'll have to try them on. They've got a little scrunch bum. I love the color of them. I really like this crop. So this crop is obviously chocolate brown and it just sits underneath the boobs. Um, and then the back is just like a cross. Not that much coverage. I probably, well, I haven't tried it on, so I wouldn't know the support, but I would say I'd probably wear this more for like weights-based training. My battery died, shock horror. Um, yeah, so the next pants that I got, they aren't leggings, they're actual flares, which is so cute. Like these would be so flattering because they're like active wear material. So they'd be like tight fitted and then flared at the end. I actually love that. So thank you so, so, so much. I'm not sure if they gave me a discount code. If they did, I'll leave it on the screen or like down below. But thank you so, so much for that generous package. I... We'll open the rest. Um, I also did get a package the other day from Lorna Jane. Um, some really cute pieces as well. Um, okay, I'm gonna make lunch now before I procrastinate and then keep snacking on random shit because that's what I tend to do when I don't have proper meals. Okay. Oh, also got my period. I'm so random. Um, so my last period was actually in November. So I've had now three periods in six months or seven months, which is okay considering I was on the pill for about 12 years. Was it 12 years? It was a long time. Um, so yeah, I did get my period the other day. I'm on like my last few days. It wasn't heavy. It was normal, no pain. I've never really experienced period pain. Thank the bloody Lord. I honestly thought when I got my period for the first time 
since coming off the pill it would be a nightmare but like it wasn't even like weirdly heavy or uncomfortable or yeah I just got it all of a sudden on the toilet I was like oh well that's a surprise because I just just forgot about it because I hadn't had it in my last one was yet yeah, in November wait not no was it November that doesn't sound right hold on I've got an app that I do track my periods with so the last period I had oh it was November end of November was the last period I had and then I didn't get one in December or January so yeah it's been one two three months weird anyway so I'd update you guys on that and I also did go and see um, my gynecologist I got another pap smear because he recommended to get one one year after my abnormal result thing I'm pretty sure I vlogged about it um, and they said that all the results were normal so but he did recommend to come back in another year just to make sure so yeah my results were normal um, and he did recommend because I do want to like get some tests done for my PCOS because I do have PCOS and I was diagnosed with it when I was about 15 um, but he thinks that I only really have a really mild case of PCOS because I don't really get the like severe symptoms that some people do get. Um, so he did recommend for me to get my bloods done and an ultrasound, but he did recommend to get an ultrasound when I'm on my period. But I kind of forgot about that slash I wasn't sure where to go. Like it just happened so quick and I only just realized yesterday that I had to get an ultrasound when I was on my period. So I was like, shit. I should have like been onto that when I just got my period, but I just didn't think about it. So I might have to call him up and say, do I 100% have to be on my period to get the ultrasound? I think he just said like it's that you would just get a better result or like it'd be easier or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, he recommended me to get an ultrasound and a blood test. So I'm going to get my blood test done ASAP. I'm pretty sure I have to be fasted. I don't think I need to be on my period for that. But yeah, that's just an update on my, well, it's actually called cervical screening and my PCOS. So yeah. Okay, now I'm really getting off topic. <laughs> but like, I just feel like I haven't chatted in so long to you guys. So I feel like there's so much to update you guys on. Um, but yeah, I should probably go clean the house up a bit unbox those parcels that I'll show you guys and yeah I'll speak to you guys later so I just unboxed everything rather than me like you know doing it on camera just because it's a bit easier it's basically just a bunch of makeup I just finished my Genora so we got some Pixi Beauty products I'm pretty sure it's like a makeup and skincare I'm not going to try any new skincare while my skin is just um doing its thing and healing but they're the products that i got from pixie and then this random brand argan brow hero what's this a brow mascara i'm obsessed with my brows at the moment and like the brushed up look so i'll see how that goes so thank you so much and then makeup geek sent me some like eye products i guess i actually need another one of these because i lost it uh, what is this? A mascara and then just some eye pencils. So thank you so much, Makeup Geek. Oh my God, I need to get my nails infilled. I'm actually going, oh, wait, I'm going to have to. Oh no, I didn't wash my hands after I used Drunk Elephant. Cool. Um, I'm going to have to reschedule my nails because I didn't realize that we're in Esperance. So love that for me. Um, so, and then I got some Morphe products. I swear they like come out with a new collection every day. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's just an eyeshadow palette, some lip products, and then Colourpop have sent me two of their newest collections. This is their romantic collection. I haven't even like opened any of it, but holy dooly. I think I might have to email Colourpop and say, maybe just <laughs> send me stuff monthly because at this point I'm getting like two or three packages a week. Well, that's what it seems like anyways. And then this new collection, it's called Black. Like I'm, I haven't even gone through the makeup from like the last three or four packages, not gonna lie. 
Um, yeah, it's just a lot of makeup that'll probably go to waste. Like I probably won't even get around to using it. So I might actually email them and be like, thanks, but also I don't have room. And then I got some bikinis from Jagger and Stone, which actually came at a great time. I'll be definitely taking these with me. So we've got our leopard bikini and then the bottoms. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about these bottoms actually. I usually like high-waisted bottoms, which these are, but I like material like around here, but I'll try them on. I got them in, that's a 12 and then this is a 12, I think, or a 10. Yeah, I think that'll be a good size, but I love this one piece as well. I'll probably be able to wear it as a bodysuit. What size did I get in this? A size 10. So thanks gals. Can't wait to wear them. Hey guys, so I'm just about to pack some orders that I received today. There's me in the background, just wearing my oversized boohoo top. Um, I was meaning to ask slash mention, I need to put that back in the thing. So when I first got my shipment of the, wait, I need to put you on something, maybe this. Um, when I first got my shipment of jewelry, my jewelry cases, the vegan leather ones, which is up here, I had a lot that came like defected slash like I couldn't sell them. Um, so there's about, there was about 30 of them, maybe even 40 of them that I couldn't sell like due to like really minor things like this. I'll show you guys. Um, so for example, like you can tell that that hole isn't like punctured like all the rest. So like I would never want to sell that because it like just looks like defected, if you know what I mean. Um, but like obviously they're all still like perfect. It's just like little defects or like some of them had like really little scratch marks on there. Um, what else? It's pretty much like most of them have like, let me see if I've got another one in here. One of the logos was upside down. That was pretty funny. Yeah, see, this one is a little bit worse. Like, it looks like, I don't know. Like, obviously, I'm not able to sell that because it looks broken. Obviously, don't want them to be put to waste. Like, I feel like I still want people to enjoy them regardless of that. I was just going to donate them, but I'm just not sure of which places would just accept something random like this. So, I just thought... If anyone wants them or if anyone's planning on making an order, just pop it in the notes saying free case or I'd love one of the cases and I'll pop one in for you. I just thought that'd be an easy way to get rid of them and I'll just give them to you guys for free because I, yeah, I'm not going to sell them if that makes sense. Oh, some of the, even some of the logos on some are like on an angle. It's, I know it's very minor, but like, I don't know, I just didn't feel comfortable selling them so if you guys want one just pop it in the order note section saying that you want one and i'll pop one in yeah i've got a whole box of them up there so i just thought i would mention that so yeah just make sure you remember just to write it in the notes and i'll add one in so yeah i'm going to pack some orders and because i literally have so much makeup like this was just from today's unboxing i'm gonna add one product or maybe one or two products in each order that I pack because I feel like it would make someone else's day. So I'm going to do that um, until I pretty much get rid of all of this. Like as nice as the companies are, it's just so unrealistic that I'm going to even get around to trying them. Like I might try one or two products, but when companies send me stuff, they send me not just one or two products. They send me the whole entire collection. So, like, it's very, very rare for me to try every single shade and every single product. So, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put one in. There's, like, eyeshadow palettes, lip products, skincare, and I'm sure many of you guys would appreciate this a lot more than me. Not that I don't appreciate it, but, like, I just will not. I won't get a chance to even try it. Like, what is this? Face Mist, Lip Gloss Trio. You can have it. And Morphe, if you're watching this, sorry, but also, like, I just can't. Hey, 
Hey guys, I haven't vlogged all day today. I literally just quickly edited like yesterday's segment of the vlog. It's already at 40 minutes. So I think I'm gonna have to upload two vlogs because surely I can't upload a two hour vlog. So I might upload this on Sunday and then Monday I'll upload like another vlog because I've just, I've been talking so much shit <laughs> pretty much. I woke up this morning, went to Pilates. It was the first time in two months. I hadn't done Reforma since like last year before we left to Queensland, which is insane. Actually, no, we did. Riley and I did a Reforma, one Reforma class while I was there, so it doesn't really count. I just tried on some of the crop shop boutique pieces that I got the other day. I also just took a photo with Genora and I took my pants off because I was sweating and I thought the aircon was on but it wasn't. So I'm gonna have to show you guys what the outfit looks like. I'm just gonna go chuck them on and I'll be our bait. Okay, this is the outfit. It's actually really freaking nice. I love the material. So I ended up getting a medium because I wasn't sure with this activewear whether it was true to size, it ran small or whatever, but I got a medium in the crop. I really love the shape of this and the color, obviously I'm obsessed. And then these are kind of like, not waffle, but it's just like that textured material. It goes down like a V and in the back, I'm not sure if it's like quite scrunch bum. It kind of is. I don't know if I would feel confident wearing these shorts. Maybe it's because I don't have a tan on. Oh, by the way, I just received my order from Bali Body. Did I just show you my address? Hopefully not. Yeah, I just received my Bali Body tan. Bought it myself. Um, and I'm going to try it because everyone seems to rave about it on Instagram. So I want to put it to the test. Um, you guys know I love my Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Aero, and yeah, I'm gonna try that. Should I wait until Sunday and be pale for like four days, or should I just do it tonight? Because I obviously want a fresh tan for Esperance, but I don't know if I can last. Because, I don't know, I just feel so pasty. Um, I might feel confident in these shorts when I'm tanned, but I'm just... This is like made really pasty at the moment. Like I feel almost red. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, this is from Crop Shop Boutique and I do have a Dissy code. It is Jazz 10 they gave me. Um, the long pants, I'll try another time. It's really freaking hot. I'll go and get the tank. It's literally my favorite tank. I was wearing it today. It's the tank on. It's like that really stretchy material. I got this one in a small but I really like it. Like you could wear it to the gym, you could wear it casually with some jeans, but I love it. So yeah, I'll leave my discount code down below. I think it'll always be active. I'm not sure, but they gave me a code. Ooh. So I ordered the, I swear I ordered ultra dark. Oh yeah, here we go. Ultra dark streak free mousse. And then I got the one hour express. Maybe I'll try this one, the one hour, 10. Usually I sleep in my tan, so like six, seven hours or whatever. So I don't use like an express tan when I usually tan with one day sands, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll try this one. I'll just do one thick layer of it and see how we go. What else is in here? That's random. Oh, it is a nourishing peach tanning oil. Maybe that was like a free gift. Okay, well, I'll try the dark and then let's see how long you should keep this one on for. Oh, it can be washed after one hour, but for a longer lasting tan, allow four to eight. Okay, so this one's like a sleep tan and this one's like an express tan. Maybe I'll do an express tan and then I'll do this one on Sunday night. But I'm excited to try them out because I did exfoliate last night. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh, I got a Dermalogica package as well. I may as well just open it. I really like their cleanser. Ooh, Aqua Jelly Cooling Weightless Hydration Moisturizer. Oh my God, I actually, I haven't really been enjoying the ordinary moisturizer. I don't know, I just, I don't really like it. So I've just been on the hunt. Maybe I'll try this one out. It's just a moisturizer made for oily skin, which is me. 
Oh my God, thank you so much. What's this? Boy Tears Fancy Fairy Floss. Oh wait, is it actual food? I think it's actual fairy floss. That's so cool. Thank you so, so much. Um, I'll have to take a photo of that actually. Um, but yeah, I'll give this one a go as my moisturizer. Weightless hydration moisturizer for oily skin that gives the dewy glow, none of the shine. Amazing. Okay, well, I'm gonna go put this stuff away. And um, what did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah, I need to clean the house. You guys seem to love when I film myself cleaning, like whether it's here on, on stories. And Co is what I use basically for everything around the house. So shout out to Co for sponsoring this part of the video, but I'm going to be using their universal cleaner, which comes in like a sack. You can fill it with the atomizing spray bottles and then you can also use it in the spray mop as well. So I use that throughout my whole house. I use it on the floors, bathrooms, kitchens, mirrors. You can also get like a cloth pack for different like surfaces. So I use like, this will make sense when you guys see, but like I use the white cloth for mirrors, but like all cloths are like labeled if you prefer that. So there's like a general cloth, bathroom cloth or whatever. Um, but yeah, I've been using it since I was living in Queensland. Like I've been using it for, it's probably coming up to two years in my house. And I also converted my mom and my barker on it. So she actually messaged me the other day and she was like, Hey, I've run out of the universal cleaner, so I ordered her some more with my code. Um, I do have a discount code, jazz2021. I have to update my highlights on Instagram actually because I do get quite a few DMs every day. Well, most days it seems um, for my code discount code and it gets you $10 off your first order. So I'm gonna go and put all the seats up and vacuum. And then I'm gonna mop the floors. I need to do the bathrooms really bad, into the toilets. And I'm gonna show you guys how I use Co and what it looks like. But I'm sure you guys are familiar with it because I feel like I talk about it way too much. thick layer all over first impressions not as dark as I would normally like look when I apply well that actually looks really light on camera and I did tan my hands I don't know why but like tan always comes off first on my hands maybe I need to put a bit more on I just don't like the look of like really dark hands so that's why I only put like a really light layer on but I might even just like put these Isle of Paradise drops oh no that actually might make it look orange I don't know, what do you guys do like throughout the week with your hands? Cause I feel like, yeah, tan always comes off my hands first, but like, I guess I could top up with tan. So that's the color. Yeah, I only did one layer of it. So we shall see. I'm gonna probably not sleep in it. I'm gonna marinate in it for two hours, even though it does say it's a one hour express tan, but I always like a deeper, tan so i'm gonna wash it off in two hours and i will show you guys in the morning i also did get some tanning water the eco tanning water which i will use tonight i'll show you guys the bottle tomorrow it's in the kitchen but um yeah it's apparently like a really natural tanning water i've seen it all over instagram bought it myself um so i'll try that tomorrow or tonight and see 
what my face looks like but this is what it looks like right now i've got no tan on it whatsoever i literally just took my makeup off actually so i still need a cleanse but yeah i'll keep you updated on the barley body tan look half asleep still. <sighs> that sure does wake you up though. Um, just having a pre-workout. Okay, tan update. Where's the good lighting? All the blinds are closed. Um, I mean, it's not the darkest. I know that because it wasn't ultra dark. It was just a dark one hour tan, but it gave me a really nice like bronzy glow. Like, I guess it's not, yeah, it's not super dark, but it still like gave me a bit of a tan. As for the face drops, I don't know if this lighting is very good. That might be better. I don't think it really did anything, but maybe you have to like build it up and gradually keep using it on your face every night because my face was not tanned at all. Like there was absolutely no tan on it. I did mix a few of those drunk elephant drops in with my moisturizer this morning. By the way, that um, Dermalogica moisturizer is like a jelly. It's not like a cream moisturizer, but I really like it. It's actually really cooling on the face. So I feel like if you have like redness, that's a bit sore, that moisturizer would be really nice for it. Um, so yeah, I used that last night and this morning, but yeah, I mixed a bit of those drunk elephant drops in and that is my face. Oh my God, my skin, like this is all smooth. Like there is no, I don't have any pimples. Like what is happening? I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I just need to take care of this. Hopefully it fades over time or maybe I might need some like treatments or something, but I think I'm just going to give my face a break from like skin peels and needling until my skin is like 100% cleared. Um, just because it's kind of reminding me of when, I shouldn't really mention this. Okay, I, I was going to like a skin clinic on the Gold Coast for months and my skin was getting worse and worse and worse because my skin was already congested and cystic. And they would go ahead and do like microdermabrasion and extractions and put all these products on. And I'd go out, like leave the salon feeling like so inflamed and red and sore. And then after a few weeks, like it would, you know, settle a little bit. And then I'd have another appointment. And then like, it was just a cycle. Um, so I think I'm just gonna give uh, like the skin appointments a break for my skin to fully heal. Cause I feel like, yeah, after I get an appointment, after I have an appointment, like my skin purges a bit, which I know is normal because you're like getting shit out from underneath. But I just, I just want to let it do its thing. So probably won't go for a month or two or whatever. But yeah, I'm just really happy with how my skin's looking now. I just feel so much more confident. Like I have no makeup on. I'm not going to put any makeup on for the gym. The past few weeks I've been putting some like lust powder on because it like this has just been super red. Um, or I have a pimple. Yeah, so yeah, I'm wearing the Crop Shop Boutique um, tank. I'm obsessed and I'm just wearing like the crop underneath. And then these are literally like my, one of my favorite pairs of leggings and they're from Lorna Jane. They're so flattering and just really comfy. These ones are in a small. I think the small fits me a bit nicer. That's the back. Ask me posing like I've got an ass. I literally have no ass. Oh, I've got something. <laughs> but like, you know how everyone like poses like this? Don't have an ass to do that. Anyways, um, I, yeah, I'm gonna scull this and then I'll be on my way to do a lower body sesh. So I'll probably bring this in the car and chat to you guys later because I gotta go to the post office to drop off last night's orders, which I got like 27 packages which i did mostly yesterday i only did like three this morning but yeah okay bye